Hi, it's Katrina. From natural nuclear reactors to the largest organism on the planet, here are 10 of the most unbelievable discoveries on Earth. Number 10. Ancient Humans When did our species emerge? Where did we come from? These questions have long been debated, and until recently, it was believed that our ancestors originated in sub-Saharan Africa about 200,000 years ago. This was based on various clues that had been found, such as human remains, tools, and evidence of social groups, but it turns out researchers needed to dig a little deeper. In 1961, in a region near Marrakesh, Morocco, miners found a nearly complete skull in soft ground that was dated to about 40,000 years ago. Word about this ancient skull spread, and researchers flocked to the area. 40,000 years ago is about the time that our nearest relatives, the Neanderthals, are thought to have died out. This site became extremely significant, but there was more left to discover. More than four decades later, another team excavated the soil beneath where these remains had been found, and they uncovered more bones, this time coming from at least five different individuals. Instead of the large face and flattened skull of a Neanderthal, scientists were very surprised to find smaller skulls with rounder faces. These skulls are so similar to ours that if one of these guys were walking around today, scientists say we probably wouldn't even notice a difference. The amazing thing about this discovery, though, was that when these remains were dated, they were found to be between 300,000 and 350,000 years old, showing that Homo sapiens were around at least 100,000 years earlier than previously thought. Not only did this make researchers reconsider the origin of our earliest ancestors, but it also suggested that we may all be traced back to this early community in Morocco. That's the current thinking, at least, and may all change if even older remains are ever discovered. Number 9. Supersized rats. Our planet has seen countless species of animals throughout the ages, ranging from the smallest single cell organisms to absolute giants. But some evidence suggests that even the creatures we see today used to be much larger than we would like to imagine. What other supersized animals have there been? There are, of course, too many to mention here, but this particular one might surprise you the common rat. Often seen as pests and not exactly the favorite animal of most people, some remains have been found on the island of East Timor that show that up to until about 1,000 years ago, humans that lived on the island had to coexist with rats that were at least 10 times the size of those seen today. These monsters weighed as much as 11 pounds and were the size of a small dog. While this might sound terrifying, it looks like the reason they became extinct is that the humans who lived there would hunt and eat them as evidenced by the cuts and burn marks that have been found on the skeletal remains. If you don't eat rat, rat eats you, so watch out. And now for number eight. But first, do you know what the largest organism in the world is? Leave your guess in the comments below. The answer is coming up. And if you're new here, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on the latest videos. Number eight, the Bosnian Sphere. Stone spheres like the balls of Costa Rica or the Meraki boulders of New Zealand have been found around the world, ranging in size and origin. Some are thought to have been created for religious reasons, while others are thought to be products of natural formations. But there's one that has been found in Bosnia that has created a heated debate among researchers. Found in the forest near the town of Zavidovici, Bosnia, this stone sphere is about 10 feet across and is one of the largest to have been found anywhere. It's thought to have a very high iron content and could weigh as much as 30 tons. Other similar formations have been found in the region, and some see the spheres as evidence of a sophisticated ancient society that built other monuments, such as an underground network of tunnels and even pyramids, while others think it's the evidence of the equally awesome power of a glacier or other geological process that created it. Take a look for yourself. What do you think? Number 7. Ancient Peruvian Communications how did ancient civilizations communicate with each other? Obviously, they didn't have cell phones, but did they have any methods beyond sending messengers or smoke signals? The answer, according to a recent discovery, might be much more familiar than we ever realized. Found in the ruins of Chan Chan in Peru, archaeologists have found a telephone. I know, I was surprised when I heard this too. The thousand-year-old telephone, as it has become known, has been dated back to between 1,200 and 1,400 years ago and is the earliest known example of a telephone discovered to date. Only one has ever been found, and it's linked to a civilization called the Chimu, who didn't even have a written language. 
Chan Chan, which means Sun Sun, was the largest city in pre-Columbian South America. It had 100,000 people at its peak around 1200 AD. The device is similar to the lover's telephone, you know, the tin cans connected by a string. In this case, though, the early telephone is made up of gourd tops connected by 75 feet of cotton twine. This may seem extremely basic to you or me, but its use predates the earliest known versions of these devices by more than 1,000 years. One can only wonder what it was used for. Was it an exclusive contraption used by only the leaders of society, or did everyone have access to one to communicate with each other? Was it just a toy? For now, it is a one-of-a-kind artifact, but it is too fragile to physically test. There's clearly still a lot to learn about the Chimu people, who were one of the most advanced societies of their time. They had impressive engineering skills and highly detailed metalwork and artifacts, but the rudimentary telephone remains a very unique discovery. Number 6. The World's Largest Cave In the dense jungle of Phong Nha Ke Bang National Park in Vietnam, a local farmer made an unbelievable discovery in 1990. He stumbled across the largest cave in the world. At first, he couldn't remember where it was, but he rediscovered it 18 years later, and it's now a popular destination for tourists and researchers alike. Known as Hang Son Dung, the cave is more than 3 miles long and 650 feet tall. That's large enough to fit an entire city block. As well as being huge, the cave holds its fair share of secrets. It has its own unique weather system, dried pools full of rare limestone pearls, and it's the site of the largest stalagmite to ever have been found, measuring an incredible 262 feet tall. Visitors to this place are able to camp inside the cave next to one of the pristine pools that teem with microbial life. But if you want to visit, you have to plan well in advance. To ensure it's well maintained, only 10 people are allowed to visit every week, and to get there you have to trek through dense and unforgiving jungle for two days. It's not a journey for the faint-hearted, but certainly one that will take you to one of the most amazing places in the world. Number 5. The Oldest Organism how old do you think the oldest organism on Earth is? The record for the oldest human is 122 years old, a Japanese koi is thought to have lived for 226 years, and a giant tortoise in India is claimed to have been 255 years old by the time it died. But this doesn't even scratch the surface of the lifespans of the real record holder. You might think of the Great Basin Bristlecone Pine Tree, which can live for more than 5,000 years, or the Pando Colony of Quaking Aspens that is at least 80,000 years old, but still, the longest living organism eclipses even these. The answer, as far as we know, is the Mediterranean seagrass. Growing in sprawling meadows in shallow waters, a 10-mile wide stretch near the Spanish island of Formentera is thought to have first developed in the late Pleistocene era when humans first developed, around 200,000 years ago. Seagrasses spread by making clones of themselves, which create meadows of genetically identical plant life that can stretch for many miles, but their growth is very slow, expanding by about 250 feet every 600 years. Changes in the ocean's temperatures are now causing numbers of this species to decline as much as 10% in the past 100 years, so they may soon be a distant memory. Number 4. The Gabon Natural Nuclear Reactor Since their creation in the 1950s, nuclear reactors are some of the most advanced facilities that are built in the world, generating huge amounts of power for the surrounding regions. But what if I was to tell you that there are 17 fission reactors in Gabon, Western Africa, that originated more than 2 billion years ago? Of course, these weren't created by humans but are a result of natural processes, ones that aren't thought to be possible today. At that time, the Earth's chemistry was quite different, and similar conditions to what you see inside a nuclear reactor were present in nature. For the process to work, there are four main requirements. The natural uranium ore must be thick, and a shape that increases the chance of a spontaneous reaction. The deposit must have a large amount of fissionable uranium-235. There must be a moderator, or something that slows down the neutrons that are produced in the reaction, and there mustn't be any elements, such as silver or boron, that absorb neutrons and would therefore inhibit the reaction. These 17 sites seem to have had the perfect conditions, and their reactions continued for at least a million years. 
The power generated wasn't huge, and at 100 kilowatts was just about enough to power 1,000 light bulbs. But it's still amazing to think that this was even possible. Maybe the most important thing about this discovery was that the radioactive particles created during these reactions were safely contained within the rock for billions of years, which suggests that there's a safe way to store any similar particles that are created in the human-made reactors of today. Number 3. Colder than absolute zero Temperature is a measure of the amount of energy contained within a molecule, where the higher the temperature, the more the molecules are moving around. This explains why substances move between their various states of solids, liquids, and gases, and also led to the discovery of absolute zero, the temperature at which molecules have no energy at all. This happens at the impossible to reach temperature of zero Kelvin, which is minus 459.67 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 273.15 degrees Celsius, and nowhere in the universe has ever been seen to be colder than this point. That was until a team of researchers in Germany found a way to take things even further and discover the strange world of negative temperatures. To do this, they cooled a number of molecules to just a minute fraction of a degree above absolute zero. They then used a web of laser beams and magnetic fields to control how the atoms moved, and this pushed them to a fraction of a degree below absolute zero. Strangely, when they reached this state, they began to behave like they had an infinite temperature. The gas created was not colder than absolute zero, but in fact became hotter than any positive temperature can be, something that implies the temperature scale actually goes up to infinity, then beyond that actually becomes a negative temperature. If that's all a bit too confusing, you're not alone. And much more research needs to be done into this behavior. It's thought that it could be the key that unlocks future engine designs and potentially even a deeper understanding of the fundamental nature of the universe. Number two. Rectangular Iceberg It's rare to have long, sharp edges and straight lines in nature, but recent images released by NASA might surprise you. In October of 2018, during a flyover by Operation Icebridge, pictures were taken of this unusually rectangular-shaped iceberg next to the Larsen C ice shelf. This phenomenon is not actually that unusual, with icebergs and rock formations often having straight edges to them. It's all down to the structure of snow crystals and the way that they break apart when put under stress. Many of the other bergs in the region have similar edges. This one just so happened to have broken off in a way that resulted in a near-perfect rectangle shape. Number 1. The World's Largest Organism So, what is the largest living organism in the world? Initially, you might think of the biggest land animal, the elephant, or the even bigger blue whale that's the largest animal to have ever lived, but there's something else that grows to many times their size, and it's a type of fungus known as, wait for it, the humongous fungus. We've known that fungi grow in large areas underground for a long time. After all, it's the reason why we get fairy circles, where mushrooms grow around the outer perimeter of the full structure. But no one expected them to grow as large as the one that has been discovered in Oregon. It's in the Malheur National Forest and is thought to have been growing for at least 2,400 years and covers an area of more than 2,385 acres. It's quite harmful to the surrounding vegetation, where it attaches itself to the roots of trees and extracts the nutrients, ultimately causing the trees to die. If you're wondering if a large network of mushrooms truly counts as a single organism, then you're in good company. But that's where this becomes extraordinary. Every part of this giant structure has identical DNA, just like you do, and just like the largest blue whale does. There are a number of these fungi in the region, each with their own distinctive genetic makeup. So, for all intents and purposes, the humongous fungus wins the largest organism contest. Thanks for watching! Hope you learned something new in this video! Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time! Bye!